So, Mad Max Fury Road, the nine-year-old now movie Mad Max, the last one, the latest one in the series, and the legacy sequel to the 1970s Mad Max trilogy. Um, it was, this was my first time watching this, and you've seen this one before. Yep, that's probably my fifth time. Fifth time, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love the movie. Um, I did not expect this one to be... Now, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit further past... When like when I first like when I was like like saw the material or whatever, I think I I don't think I I was not expecting this to be like like a really crazy good film, right? Yeah. Um, I'd heard of like the Mad Max. I think I was just kind of expecting something pretty mediocre. I think yeah. that's what I was expecting. Well, they're gonna be some crazy stunts, whatever, some action. Yeah, and yeah. And you know, watching the Mad, the original trilogy of the Mad Max, you know, we uh, we talked about that in our last video. No. Um, you know, like the first Mad Max just kind of. Astonished us at how unmad Max it was. Yeah, uh, it's more police car chase down biker Aussie gang. Fast and furious. <laughs> yeah, I still like that analogy. I like using that one, <laughs> um, but like it wasn't something. And I was, I was, I was just kind of hoping, especially from what you were saying about it. I was really hoping it would be really good. And I think, I think it's gonna be. Some, I think it's gonna be a movie. I'm gonna have to watch a few more times just to be able to appreciate. It way more. I think it's something that you're going to be able to appreciate a lot more the more you watch it. Yeah, that's that's been my experience. Um, I definitely, I definitely thought it was really, really cool. I, I enjoyed it. Spoiler alert, by the way, for the movie, uh, we will be talking yeah. spoilers in this here. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, yeah, there's your there's your warning. Um, Go watch it. I would recommend watching it. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'm. So I believe with Mad Max Fury Road. So this is this was made by George Miller, who is the who one who made the original. A Mad Max trilogy. Yeah. Also, apparently, he also made Babe, the pig movie from like the early two thousands. No clue. No clue. <laughs> it's like, what? Wow. <laughs> Did not know that. Also, Happy Feet. I think he made Happy Feet too. Yeah. Stick with Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with Mad Max. Bro. To be honest, I don't. Uh, I think I. I think I watched Babe when I was like I think when it came out, like when I was six or something Oof. like that. No, I got no uh, clue. Do not remember it at all. Uh, never watched Happy Feet. But uh, it's it's weird to think that, that you went from something like those. Mad Max to Happy Feet, uh, so crazy. But like um, with this movie, so the Furiosa is coming out pretty soon. Yep, and he's doing that one too, isn't he? Yep, he's, he made George that one Miller? too. Cut. And the interesting thing is, uh, Furiosa was actually the backstory they wrote for Furiosa in this movie. Yeah. Before, like, like they they just kind of wrote, wrote out like her backstory. Yeah. And then this the movie that's coming out is. That backstory just turned into a movie. Okay, so what you're saying is they didn't do Fury Road, that blew up, and then they're like, oh shoot, let's write a prequel for. Yeah, Fury that's Road. not okay. what happened. What happened was is actually, and I believe they also did a. Um, they also, I think he also wrote a story for the year before Mad Max Fury Road. Okay. Um, and I've heard that there's a possibility that that's going to come out. Okay. I don't know when. Oh. I don't know if he even started it. Um, I'd but, expect Furiosa is going to do pretty well. I, I would hope so. I, I really I, hope I'm gonna so. I'm going to go see it. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, I think I think that's pr like really crazy how that, like it, especially with nine years, it wasn't like a um, yeah like just nine years later. Oh hey, let's make a movie. Yeah. Um, it was. It's like th they've been trying to get this done since like. Oh no! Wait, hold on. Not nine years. Uh, they were trying to get it done since the early 2000s. I got my timelines mixed up because this came out in 2015. Yeah. So like probably like but 15 they've been years. working on it. Yeah, so they, they were originally gonna have Mel Gibson do it, and then it just took so long that Mel Gibson aged out of the role. Yeah. So they had to bring in somebody else. Which, I love Tom Hardy in it. So. Yeah, he was he was pretty great, was and I think I think it might actually like add to the lore a little bit, if you you could say. Maybe. Um, so like some people are thinking like, is this like a, is this movie a like a reboot? Is it a continuation? Reboot. I think the answer, the definitive answer I've heard is is yes. Yeah. It's both that a continuation because it was written to be Mad Max Four. Yep. Um, but it's also and he's definitely Max. But yeah, and which, but it's also a reboot in a sense for yeah. the modern audience. And I think the way I think you can like get it to fit together is to think of it more as like um, campfire stories, and have it be more of like a. Um, oh, I got gotcha. you. Ha have it be more of like a. It, th these could take place at any time. It doesn't really matter who. So if you change up the actor for Max every single movie, then it could it, still work if with that concept, right? Just because that's the and that's what bugged me about the first Mad Max is I 
because I'd seen Fury Road and I didn't get any of this what's mystique or that might not be the right word but something like that right yeah where like he's just different almost like a hero but not really a hero yeah and they were, they said that in the first one they just then pay it off yeah just didn't didn't really get it no um interesting thought uh yeah. one of my friends pointed out is he thought that they put all their big cgi action shots in at the start he thought, like, you got the huge tornado and the windstorm and everything. Mm, yeah. And he said, because they knew you, you'd be going in for action, they could get away at the start. But he said, as you go throughout more and more movies, they try to get more and more practical effects until you get to, like, the end big scene. And there's, like, almost no, whatever, big, big would that be CGI? Obviously, there is a lot of visual effects. But it's, uh, I, think, but it, I think they try to do as much practical as they could at the end. I think, I think what thing I've heard people say is, is the best CGI is invisible CGI. Yeah. It's Which just it's just used when it's used to enhance like and you do a lot of the stuff practically. Instead of create the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's and that's um and I think yeah, I believe they did do a lot of the I did I think they did do a lot of it um practically yeah. too, I think. Um especially like those uh those guys on like the pendulums. I know. Like those they all hope. that was that was I was like I was watching them like the utter insane things that they have they are inventing. So how did for like the car action. So George Miller is just probably sitting there thinking, hmm, what if? <laughs> <laughs> what, what what if you just had some guys just swinging down and on we top? We blow of it? the top off a truck and they like can grab somebody and that whoa, I'm getting something here. Um, yeah, it I works. They, they they created a lot more crazy inventions oh, yeah. to, for like the action in this movie. Crazy is happening all the time. Yeah, but and why I love the movie is I feel. It's the most action I've seen in a movie where they still get story in somehow. It's almost like all this action, then a quick little Tom Hardy carry the story. Yeah. Straight action, Charlie Theron carry the story. And boom, those two are really good. Although I heard they didn't get along very well at all acting or something. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard that um, too. But I think by th I've heard that by the end of it, they were getting along. Okay. <laughs> so it's like, so, so it's like the, the, the story of uh, their, their, their character. Yeah, actors in, match the character. In, in, in real life and in the movie, the char their character development happened exactly the same. Nice. Um, also, I heard that uh, George Miller was not telling them what was going on, and that got Tom Hardy super frustrated. In oh, this yeah, movie, because uh, because of, yeah, obviously, if you don't know what's going on, how do you act? Your, yeah, yeah. Um, Tom Hardy's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and and he's actually, for the, for me, in the first for the first time, uh, in my opinion, he's actually mad, in yeah. the crazy sense, uh, uh, <laughs> in this movie. And uh, it's interesting because I think, I think the way they did it was is uh, they started off like he was almost like much more animalistic and then he becomes more human by the end. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, they try to give him very little dialogue. Yeah. A lot of just sounds. Yeah. Just facial grunts. acting grunts. <laughs> Even like the he's got the cage on his face for a while. Yeah, that muzzle. Yes. There you go, muzzle. That's what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, I, I saw that on the poster and I thought, of course, you know, not having seen the movie. I was I was like, is this just like a like a design choice that, that like, he, he yeah. decided he, he wanted? Has like, it or? like yeah, uh, but it turns out it's like okay, this makes a lot more sense. It's just a muzzle kind of thing. Um, that is kind of crazy. I, I love the car designs, especially there's that there's that one vehicle with like the guy and the guitar, and then just oh. these huge speakers just yep. coming up behind him. You'd think he'd be kind of deaf, but um, I also I was looking through the soundtrack. I was hoping that there was a soundtrack. That where you could hear the guitar riffs yeah. in there because I was just I just I would love to be reminded of that guy <laughs> when listening to the soundtrack. Yeah, uh, that's that's just it is that's it, probably one of the funniest things. Again, how he came up with that, no clue. But it, it's it, just you're it in the middle feels, of an action, all of a sudden you flip to like when the music gets crazy. There he is doing the actual strumming. Yeah, and uh, I I I've, I heard that he was like he was born blind, and that was like he's wearing the face of his mother. Okay, no clue, no clue so on there, that. There's one. a lot of weird lore in it, and it, the weird thing is that it all kind of makes sense together. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of crazy. Um, also, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if this one takes place in Australia. I um, thought someone said they've all been filmed in Australia, but I'm not. Oh, sure. probably filmed in Australia. It's oh, just, but like I didn't, I didn't, I don't, I didn't yeah. recognize any Australian accents. So like, when they get to the end and they're, well, the sort near the end, they're like. 150 days they're going to try to head across the salt. You think that's supposed to be the ocean dried up? I think so. I think. 
And the reason I think that is mainly because, um, so I've been playing the Mad Max video game. Yeah. And one thing I kind of realized is that um, in the game, you are in the middle of a dried up ocean because oh. you, you have you have like oil pipes that are just, you know, like elevated off the ground and everything. And to me, the only reason that would make any sense, and you've got like lighthouses and, and ships and yeah. stuff. So it's um, supposed to be the ocean. So right up, to me, at least that right there is probably, um, I think it's supposed to be, I think that at least the game takes place in the middle of a dried up ocean, yeah. because that's, to me, that's the only way that would make any sense. And that's the only way I could see too, um, I'm not how it worked on that. I They really don't explain like where it is location wise. Yeah. Or, um, but. They really I don't. I don't, have I don't to. think it. I don't think it matters. No. I don't think that's the point. It could be. It could be anywhere. They they just launch right into it. Yeah. Yeah. And they kind of keep hinting at like his past, and they kind of do some really good. Always cast a flashback to this little girl to like insinuate he's kind of crazy or have yeah. flashbacks PTSD too. There you and go. Whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. The, that which, helped. That might be part of the um, the year before. Yeah. Movie or th- th- that they that they wrote uh, for his backstory. Yeah. Exactly. So. I don't know if we're gonna see that, but you know that's just. I hope they keep. I hope they can keep them rolling. Yeah, yeah. Because that they're they're fun. Yeah, I I definitely want to. I honestly just can't wait for a few years. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's um, honestly yeah, and with the with this movie, of course, this is like so the other movies were like '70s movies, and this yeah. is 2010. Long gap. Yeah. Um, the thing you obviously notice at first is. Like first of all, everything looks so much better. Yeah. And secondly, like the action is so much crazier. Yep. And a lot more going on. You know, you, you might want to think that back in the seventies they could have done, you know, some really crazy stuff back in the day, but the truth is, I think I think th- they've just refined their craft so yeah. much over the last few decades that um, that things just get so much more exciting. What you can get away with with editing out. And then, like, just think how far stunts have come and everything. Yeah. And you're going to know more about that to me at the editing and stuff. But I, yeah. you can which, get away with a lot more. Actually, uh, speaking of which, um, that was something that really interesting I heard about um, is that what they did with Mad Max Fury Road was really weird. Uh, or not really weird, but, like, really crazy. Because what they ended up doing is so they... they um, so I, I saw a video where they were comparing um, Transformers, the first Transformers yeah. movie, to Mad Max Fury Road to see which one has more cuts. Have, yeah. have you seen both movies? Or I have, have not seen, seen the original Transformers. Or I think it's like 2007 or something. Okay, like that. that's close. But, you, but you've, you've seen like the Transformers movies, yeah. though. I, I watched, have not, to I be honest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like the Transformers movies are so incredibly chaotic, right? Okay. Is in, and they're like cut really fast, right? Yep. Mad Max Fury Road is cut faster than a Transformers movie. It is. Like, yeah, but okay. it feels so much more fluid, right? Okay. And the reason for that is because they they the, they shot the movie so that all the action was happening in the center of the frame. And yeah, so and, you and don't and have to. Everything's right there. Er, so basically, like, and then if it's not like in the center of the frame, they will draw your attention to whatever they want you to to look With at. The so a lot of times, it's usually like uh, like for instance when you have. Um, uh, when Mad Max catches up with the um, with the women in the trailer, and he's um, like, and he's pointing a shotgun at them, right? Yeah. And like, like so, so you're you're looking kind of over here at the women and at Mad and yep. at Max. Yep. And then he he like he brings his shotgun uh, over there, and that draws your attention. That movement draws your attention over to Furiosa because they want your attention over at Furiosa. That's a good example. Or um, or you know he's like like he pulls the chain on the back of his head and it, that goes off to the side but it draws your attention that way. That so way. basically it's it's wherever your your eyes are naturally going to go to whatever it is that they want you to go so to. So they know where your eyes are so going you, so they can cut down how long you're looking at a shot? Exactly. Okay. So you cuz there's there's really no time you're trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Um, whereas with the Transformers movie as, as the guy was showing um, he would like show like like okay we don't like in, at this part of the frame, you don't know where to look. I don't even know where to look yet. I have to like really find it. So for example, right here. Whoa. There, there's this like this split second where I have to like, the frame hasn't been defined yet. It, he appears just a second, like there's nothing in the shot and then he comes out of this frame. 
and it takes a mm. while before you figure out, oh, that's where I need to look. Or that's, yeah. you know, and with them cutting so fast and then the action coming from here, then over here, then over here, and over, you know, going all over the place, it, it kind of, it feels more chaotic and you have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Versus Mad Max feels so much more fluid because it's drawing your attention, it's pulling your attention it away. It does seem smooth. Yeah. Wow. So it's, there's so much, <laughs> there's so much to this that is actually really crazy. <laughs> yeah. I like, well, I heard, I don't know, it's true. I thought I heard, was that different? I thought he heard he, he had his wife help edit this one or no is that a different one that no i think you might be right i thought and she never edited a movie before i thought that's i'd heard possible. that uh, that's possible i better not swear to that one i don't i don't know that for sure and then i don't uh, know if they that also sounds about, that sounds like something i've heard before i think i've heard too they dropped frames on some of it like maybe right at the start when he's like running and it's almost a little jittery but i don't know if it was frame dropping or more just quick cutting i'd have to look at that again um because it almost seems sped up Something like that, yeah. So I don't know um, what it would be. I I, I think they, m- I don't I don't remember it. What, what you're saying sounds like something I've he- I've heard yeah, somebody yeah, talk about. Yeah, before. see, I know just um, enough to be dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I I, th- I think it was something like that where um it it wasn't like ve- it wasn't very smooth to kind of like yeah. have the action, but with it being everything in center frame, and it works. It still felt smooth. All in all, with everything they tried, and pulled out of nowhere. It's amazing. I, I can't point towards one thing and move and be like, I loved everything, but that one little gimmick failed. I, I didn't like that. Yeah. There's really nothing. Yeah. And there's a lot of crazy going on, so that's impressive. I can't be like, I'm not going to go back to the first Mad Max. But anyway, like, whatever. Okay, they're, they're just in police cars or something. Like me and anything like that. Can't do it. Yeah. They, they, they spend a lot of time. You can tell that the, that the time that they spent was actually, yeah. you know, kind of refining things. And um, this this one was... This was a definitely a really good movie. Yeah. Um, obviously, the other Mad Max ones were not quite as good. How, did you ever get a chance to watch? I didn't get the next two yet. No? Not no. Nope. But Nope. I had a choice between uh, try to look at one of those or uh, finally get through Bullet Train. So I watched, <laughs> watched Bullet you watched? Train. <laughs> oh, it was good. Mad liked, enough I, on its I, own. I enjoyed that not one. Not going to get into that on this review, but I enjoyed it. it was, that was kind of its own kind of mad. So um, can't wait good. for Furiosa. That New, should be yeah, coming out. Um, this weekend, I believe. As oh, is it that already? When when we're releasing this video. Yeah. So um, that'll be good. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a review out then. Yeah. Um, that weekend as well. So yeah, um, we'll if see. you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want to see more videos on Mad Max, I've got maybe a couple more coming up here, um, including Furiosa and the Mad Max video game. Then go ahead and hit the nice. subscribe button so you guys know when it'll come out. And we'll see you in the next one. That was good. Ciao. We'll see you. So what do you think of bullet train? <laughs>